Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering Nintendo DS. For this emulator, I use RetroArch. I've never really had trouble with it. I know a lot of people say it lags on their system and stuff like that. But there's only a few games that I really like to play with Nintendo DS and all of the ones that I like to play, like the Pokemon, New Super Mario Brothers, Castlevania, everything works flawlessly for me. This is relatively easy to set up, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna need are some Nintendo DS games. So I have some here on my desktop in a folder called Nintendo DS. And I only have a few. These are the games I really like to play. There's a few more, but I couldn't get a hold of them right now. Some Kirby, some Heroes of Mana, Castlevania, you know, all the classics for the DS. I'm gonna take these and put them in my LaunchBox directory under games. So I'll navigate to my LaunchBox directory, which is located in my C drive, users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, games. I'm just gonna drop this folder in here. Now it's in my LaunchBox directory and it will become portable if I ever wanna make LaunchBox portable. So there's a few ways to launch RetroArch because we need to download the core itself. The main way I launch it is go into my LaunchBox directory, Emulators, RetroArch, and launch the EXE. You can also go into LaunchBox and if you have any other games set up with RetroArch, all you have to do is right click, open RetroArch. From RetroArch, we're gonna scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater. We're gonna scroll down until we find the Nintendo DS Core. There are two listed here. I don't use the Melon DS. I use this one and I have no clue how they want you to pronounce this emulator name. So we're just going to go ahead and download it. And that's it. We're going to click escape. Now it's time to import our Nintendo DS ROMs into LaunchBox. We're going to go to tools, import, ROM files. Now the best thing about LaunchBox is this emulator is already pre-configured within the RetroArch config file, so we don't have to do anything else except for import our ROMs, choose RetroArch, and start playing. There's a few tweaks that I want to show you inside of the RetroArch emulator, but other than that, you should be good to go. This is the ROM wizard. Click Next. I'm going to add a folder, and that's going to be my Nintendo DS folder I added to my LaunchBox directory under Games. I'll find Nintendo DS, click OK, and Next. LaunchBox is going to sort that out for us and find all of the games inside of that folder. Platform for imported ROMs, Nintendo DS. From the drop-down menu, find Nintendo DS. Click Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch is pre-chosen. If it's not, just drop down and choose RetroArch. Click Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because they're already in my LaunchBox directory. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games Database, Recommended. I leave this check and I click Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, I would. Next. If this is your first time importing anything into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but there is a donation option which will allow you to download more videos, more box art, more music per day. It's definitely worth it. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Nintendo DS, so we'll go Next. Ready to import. Here's the name of the game, the file location, and the extension, mine are seven zip. You can leave your DS game zipped. Click finish. LaunchBox is now going to import the ROMs, download our box art and metadata. This will take some time depending on how many games you're importing at once. So my 15 Nintendo DS games were imported successfully. I'm gonna click OK. Over in the left-hand column, we should now have a Nintendo DS section. All right, so now we have our Nintendo DS games imported successfully. There's a few little tweaks I wanna show you inside of RetroArch when we start a game. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Sonic Rush. Double click, it'll launch RetroArch for us. And we now have Nintendo DS running. 
So you might have thought about it. What about the touchscreen? Now, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do is use a mouse for the touchscreen, but there is an option to set your analog sticks as your pointer function. As you can see mine moving down here. I'm gonna press L3 and R3 on my controller to back up to the menu. If you don't have this set up in RetroArch, you can always hit F on your keyboard. That'll bring you into window mode. Command, menu toggle. I'm gonna go back to full screen by pressing F. And from here, we're gonna scroll over until we see the game we're playing currently, which is Sonic Rush. Scroll down until we see options. Now there's a lot of settings in here. Internal resolution, this will require restarting the game. You can go up with this if you want to. 256 by 192 looks good. The higher you go, the more it's gonna stress your CPU. CPU cores, I usually set mine to two. CPU mode, JIT. JIT block size is always at 12. Screen layout, now this is important to some people. Top and bottom, like the original DS. Bottom and top, left and right, right and left. Top only. So some games you can play with the top only, you don't need any touch at all. I usually keep it top and bottom. I know it's a little scaled down and there's some black bars on the side, but this is the way the DS was meant to be played. Pointer type. I leave mine at mouse. I change my pointer color to either black or red because white's kind of hard to see with some games. So I'm gonna go with red. And I set my pointer mode to my right analog stick to emulate it. This will allow me to use my right analog stick as my pointer. We scroll all the way down. We see we have frame skip. If you're lagging with a certain game, you can always turn frame skip on. But if you have a PC that was built in the last five, six years, you shouldn't have any trouble playing DS within LaunchBox. I'm gonna back up and I'm going to resume the game. As you see, my pointer is now red on the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see. This is a weird game to be using a pointer with. There we go. Just gonna press start, start, and we're gonna play this game. I'll move my pointer out of the way. So I have my FPS listed in the top left-hand corner. As you can see, we're doing a steady 60, and it looks really good. If you want better graphics, you can always turn that resolution up, but remember, it will stress your CPU a little more. The PC I'm on right now should be able to do at least five with no lag, but I see one here looks good and is perfectly playable for me. I'll go ahead and exit RetroArch. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. I hope you have Nintendo DS up and running within LaunchBox using RetroArch. If you have any trouble, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.